Um, Mary Louise? Yes, sir. Of the three articles on the ballot regarding amending the town's entertainment ordinance, which one do you support and why? Um, let me look at the, the numbers real quick. I think it's, is it 39 and... There's three. 39 and, and, and 40. 39, 40, and 36. 36, let me look at the Selectman's Warren article, I believe it's 36. <laughs> that gets me excited, Selectman's Warren article. Okay. Um, I'm, I, at the, this point in time, I'm not interested in supporting 36, but 39 and 40, I definitely will support. Okay. Uh, Did you say you would definitely support 39 and 40? Yes. Wow. I would definitely oppose 39 and 40 and reluctantly support uh, 36. All three of them call for more noise. Now, some like to call that music, but when you're trying to get to sleep, it's noise. And a lot of people are suffering. I do not. I'm located in a way where I don't have to hear it, but I have to. I can think with all, pol everyone who holds public office, I think, ought to take the consideration of the entire public in mind. I think the Board of Selectmen's idea of adjusting the hours was a reasonable compromise and about as far as I would go in terms of making accommodation, uh, in terms of you know trying to reach a compromise. The Articles 39 and 40 were private uh, citizen more and articles by uh, Brian Pro Prevent Sal, I believe I'm pronouncing that right. And uh, one of them actually not only calls for even more noise, uh, they both call for it, but one of them actually says, let's do away with all regulations, the entertainment license itself, throw it out the window. I mean, that's just you know, beyond the pale and, and doesn't reflect any kind of sense of compromise. So 36, I can reluctantly support in the spirit of compromise. 39 and 40, absolutely not. Okay, let's turn to Brian. Brian, can your go comments. Last, please? Yep. Can I go last on this? Uh, no, let me go right, right. with you. Um, <laughs> well, I, I, I do not wish to restrict the hours of operation, so I can't go along with 36. Um, I actually wrote the Warren article. I actually wrote the one before it that was pushed for by the selectmen, members of the sitting board. Some of them actually helped get it through, and then it was amended um, by some people for a, a different one that a gunkwood had picked up, which is 50 decibels, which is unre unachievable. So they can't actually even do it. Um, the only difference here between uh, 39 and 40, 39 deletes the entertainment license and leaves it all up to the police. So when, when there's a noise complaint, the selectmen don't get called down there to see what's going on, the police do. This puts it all in their hands to let them deal with it. Article 36 reads 75 decibels from the complaint. So that's 500 feet away. So when there's a complaint, they're going to go to that house and they're going to take a reading and go, well, they're in compliance. Obviously, they're going to be because they're 500 feet away. Article 40 is the one that I wrote that leaves the entertainment li license intact to let if that makes them feel better to have the runaround that we've had going on. It's 50 feet from the property line. So if someone 500 feet away calls and says, I have a noise complaint, they're too loud over there. The police will drive down to where the place is that's making the noise, stand 50 feet in front of that property, and they have to be at 80 decibels. That's about a lawnmower. That's about what the traffic, the people, and everything down there. That's why I picked 80 decibels. 75 and 80, it doesn't make a difference. It's five decibels. You're not going to notice that. Now, tell me from 500 feet away on a deck or on a property, you're going to be bothered by a lawnmower. You're not. They have to be quieter with number 40 than they do with the 30, 36. 36. So it's not calling for no more noise. It's actually, I'm in the business. I've been a DJ for quite some time down there. I've worked at every single establishment on this beach. I know what I'm talking about. That's why I wrote it. It protects the, the people down the street. It protects the local business and lets them continue to do their business. With the influx of condos and people coming in down the beach, it, the businesses need to be protected. And they need, that's how we, our, beach, our town makes its money. That is our industry, the beach. Mm -hmm. It needs to be protected. We can't lose the beach. Yeah, Thank right. you. Ryan. So we go from the author of 39 and 40 to uh, participant in number 36. Number 36. The number 36 was recommended by the Selectman 5-0. I am empathetic to the businesses at the beach. I'm empathetic to the people at the beach. I mean, it, it is a huge problem. I have to support 36. I think that's the one that we need to go with. That's the one the police chief recommended to us. That's the one we worked on. I was the one, I, th I believe, that 
when we changed it this year, added one day, extra day for them to do it three days a week to go later. I, I, it, it's a big problem. It's a big problem for the business. They have to make their money in the summer. And I'm, and I'm not being wishy-washy here. I'm just stating the facts. And it's a big problem for the residents. Okay. But I go with 36. All right.